Oh, hey, we're gonna go to a couple very specific thrift stores today. Uh, but before we do, we're gonna start at Merchant Square, which is one of the antique malls that we sell stuff at. We gotta pick something up. But you guys do me a huge favor before we get started today. Hit the subscribe button, help us keep moving to 15,000 subs. If you're not subscribed yet and you've been enjoying these videos at all, come on, subscribe. Do it. I've always gotta check this section out for knickknacks. You just never know what's gonna be tucked in there. A lot of pops, a lot of Disney, Infinity, Skylanders. There's just so much here. Just bins full of stuff. Oh wait, oh wait. There's, oh, what? What? Listen, Minecraft. There's some Minecraft stuff in here, but there's also a bunch of nonsense that's not Minecraft. There's a bunch of foam building blocks that has two C's in it. Oh. And a cow. All right, well, I'm probably gonna buy that. This is worth, this is worth that. If you're gonna sell the Minecraft pieces that are in here, even without the extra nonsense, it's probably worth that maybe a little bit more on eBay and a lot. Stuff's selling pretty well right now. <clears throat> Hello, y'all, dude. Mary Poppins, y'all. Who's that? Is he cool? Yeah, he's cool. My booth is looking all right, though. We're getting pretty low on stock with games. I say low because this whole shelf was full and half of that one was full. We put all of our nonsense in here, you know, cheap stuff. It sells pretty well. This is about the only way that I actually sell video games. We don't really ever end up putting anything on eBay or anything. Uh, that's it. And it's getting low. How's it looking? Did you get everything taken care of? Everything's good. Well, I found a giant bag of Minecraft. What? There's a lot in there. And nice. a lot of extra nonsense that's not Minecraft, but... We'll take it. <laughs> the shelf I've been decorating at home with the Minecraft stuff is meant to be very sparsely uh, populated with Minecraft toys so that you can see the cool background behind it. And the shelf I have is getting full, so I need to find another one today. So fingers crossed that they have one. Hopefully. I need it bad. All right, I'm gonna start today's journey with the men's jeans. Because I need some jeans always for my custom work that I do. Today's half off color day is yellow. It just switched over today. So we're gonna spot a few of them today, which is exciting. But I'm hoping the right things are yellow tags. Purple is the new color um, that they're putting out. So we're gonna find a lot of purple tags and they are probably the good stuff. Let's see. Well, rats, we're not finding very many things that I really need. But that's okay, we just started. So let's move on to something else. Here's what we got for video games. We fit ESPN. All right, all right, all right. Let's go look at the toys. The toys are not very well stocked here. It's not a big deal. It just didn't end up hitting this place at a very good time. But sometimes when you hit this place right at restocking time, it can be nuts. Found a lot of good stuff here over the last couple of years. Bags. Ooh, look at these shades. Oh, wow. What the heck? $150? Come on, guys. I mean, that volume of Lego, maybe we could talk about it being worth a ton, but this is so mixed in with just nonsense and crap. You couldn't pay me that much to sit there and sort this. Ooh, I spotted something. Got some Tupperware. 349's not great for that. I'd rather have to spend a dollar on it. It's I usually can sell them for about 15 or so in my booth, so we'll hold on to it. If we don't find anything, we'll take it. But if I find something else I have to have, I might abandon it. Who knows? It's a pretty big gnaw on the furniture. I'm not going to find that shelf I'm looking for. I don't need to be in a hurry for it. It's going to show up. But this is a pretty good Goodwill for furniture, so I did have my hopes up a little bit. This Goodwill always has a lot of really cool art in it. There's like a ton of it here. I spotted this thing. It's really cool looking. I don't know if it's something that Dallas is gonna want, but we'll see. It's $4.49. It's 
it's pretty cool. We're gonna at least show it to him so he can marvel at it. <laughs> you get it, Marvel? Get it? <laughs> what is Wayne's view? Wireless PTZ IP camera, kind of baby cam. Whoa! Oh, 80 bucks. And not really the right power adapter. One discolored conjunction. Nope, not for 80 bucks. Not even with a coupon. That is only the second time I've ever seen a Mini, a Super Nintendo Mini in a thrift store. The one I own, I bought. Hold on. What is that USB cable? There's just nonsense in here. There's a USB cable in there for no reason. It's just some stuff. I bought my personal Super Nintendo Mini, which is my favorite console at a Goodwill ages ago before we even had this channel. That's only, the only other one I've ever seen. Eight. What did you find? What do you think? Bruh, it's beautiful. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess since it's already in that frame, let's get it. We'll center it up or something and we'll put it in our antique mall to sell and see if that kind of thing is going to sell because we've got a lot of posters we, <laughs> we can sell. Um, we'll hang it up at home for a little while though until we get it to the antique mall. <laughs> cool. Because I'm into it. Check out what I bought on the way out the door. Hey. I went and checked out right behind you and the lady stood there for like three minutes trying to ring it up and I guess that QR code is faded and wouldn't ring up. It's supposed to be three bucks. Finally she was just like, it's a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so unofficial Minecraft encyclopedia. Cool. Are you ready for Desert Industries? Always. My favorite thrift store in town. I haven't really found anything just like crazy good here in the last few weeks, but you might remember a string of episodes for about a week, about a month, month and a half ago. Hannah just killed it every day. Every day she found something crazy. She found a bunch of brat stalls here that week. And what did you say to me right before we got out of the car? I want to find brat stalls in Desert today. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I'm in the Barbie bucket. Please, please be something good. I haven't found a brat stall in a while and I just want to find one. Just, you know, a little boost of serotonin, right? Pushing around naked Barbies. It's one of those LOL dolls. Oh my gosh, this Barbie is scary. She has like ghost eyes. Look into my soul. Well, other than ghost eye Barbie, I think we're, uh, we have a bus today. The rest of this is just baby dolls. Nothing in the lock boxes. South Pacific Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell. Check the video games real quick. And video games. And nothing. We need to go to a different part of town or something. SS Explorer. Well, that's better than nothing. There have been a lot of controllers here lately and it looks like today's no different. Five bucks for a blue. In pretty terrible condition. Gummy sticks and they're torn up. Five bucks. Some of y'all are gonna probably be mad at me for not getting these, but they're in awful condition. And I've already got plenty of them at home to deal with. I'd love to find this with the dongle one day. It's all corroded and stuff. Hmm. Well, glad we looked though. Nope. No, I'm not that mad about those being so gummy because I have my collection. I have one of each color perfect condition put away. It's not really a big worry, but well, what's with all these battery bags? Glass baking section that doesn't make me cringe because the prices are always really, really cheap. Very excited to look through here. Ooh. Ooh, there's two of them. Okay. Dollar corner pie plates. We'll grab those. A little corner 
green daisies. This is a pretty decent flip. It's about $25 or so. Definitely going to get these. I'll probably grab it too, just to throw in the antique now. Got a flamingo pitcher. If uh, that's your sort of thing, it's kind of cool. I think that's everything, but that's a great find. We will be rescuing these babies from the landfill. Got two chances for toys here. This is the big toys, the large plush and the larger toys. What? Bro, two bucks bought. I bought it. It's mine. It belongs to me. It's awful, but it's awesome. Are you kidding me? You can't make this up. You can't. Let's go. Let's go. I can't believe that's just sitting here for 75 cents. What if there's more? A dollar. All right, we gotta go look at the small toys because if there's more of this tucked around, it's Christmas. Ryan Cabrera is on the radio. Is it 2005? I mean, I guess it is. It has to be. Look what I found. Yay! <laughs> hmm. Something going on there. There's a whole section in the back that has a lot of like vases, glassware, just random odds and ends. This is where I usually find some of my like clear glass stuff. Some picture. I found a picture. Was it like last week, two weeks ago? It was one of the wheat glass pictures by Libby. Maybe we'll get lucky today. I'm seeing a lot of crystal and a not a lot of anything I need. So, we'll move on. All right, now that we're home, we are going to show you the stuff that we got at the thrift here in a second. But I wanted to throw a few more of these Minecraft toys on my shelf. Uh, should have brought some scissors. Just getting into this. Uh, it's like double, triple bag. It's a bag and a bag and a bag. But there are quite a few Minecraft toys in here as well as these weird cube puzzle. I, I don't. It looks like some stuff I played with as a kid, just smaller. And I don't really understand exactly what it's supposed to be. I mean, just foam building blocks. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> They're really not even that good. They're called snag foos. I guess comment below if you know anything about snag foos, because I know that I do not. Snag foo foam mattress. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. We're gonna try one more thing. Snag foos. That's it. Okay, so yeah. I don't know. Where can you buy them? From the website from snafoos.com. Can't even buy them on Amazon. I see nothing. All right, well, they're not Minecraft. Though someone must have thought that they were, or at the very least, uh, thought someone who wanted Minecraft blocks might like some foam puzzles. But I'm very excited to get some of the animals that are in this bag. Because this shelf here behind me, you'll see, I've got a bunch on display. These are some of uh, smaller scale. And then I've got the biggest scale, <laughs> right? And these figures are, I think, going to be the medium scale. They're going to be the one in between those two. Uh, but there's also a bunch of blocks that are a different scale. And I have the blocks down here on display on this part of the shelf. I also don't have my LED lights on. I guess we can turn those on so maybe you can see them a little bit better. I mean, I doubt that's going to help you a ton, but it's better than nothing. I just have to dig out the rest of these blocks among all the snag foos. Uh... There's a wolf on our latest Minecraft video, which uh, you can check the links below or wait to the end of the video. We fought a bunch of evil, evil wolves in Minecraft in our last game. Uh, we have creepers coming. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh. Run! Just run! Just go! Just go! Just get out of here! Follow Patrick! Creeper, right behind you, yeah. Oh my god. Watch right behind you, magic! Oh, this is going south. They're they're pretty gnarly when they're mad at you. These foam blocks, I'm gonna be finding these for weeks, they're spilling everywhere. A pig, 
which is pretty sweet because I don't have one of that scale. Or do I? Ooh, I have two piggies. That's awesome. How about that? Two of them. I did just buy a couple days ago on an episode a slightly larger one, the piggy bank. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Sheep. And then more blocks. I swear there's a chicken in here. There is part of a creeper. He's currently missing his head, but I actually have a spare head. I bet his head could still be in here, though. Oh, there's a piggy with a saddle. Yes! That's awesome. So, he has a saddle, and I think, actually, these smaller scale size guys will actually probably sit on him. Some people will just call this a Minecraft cat, but it is, in fact, an ocelot. If you didn't know, there's the creeper's head. Boom! That's awesome. That's probably the one I'm happiest to have. Uh, I'm going to go with second happiest. Happiest to have the chicken. Because I didn't have one in my collection yet. Uh, I'm getting pretty close to having enough for this one shelf. As soon as I get more shelves and more screens to go around, I might have to get you guys to help me make a decision on what to put on the next shelf. Maybe even... Uh, comment below if you have a good idea now, but keep in mind that whatever it is, whatever the toys are, I want it to make sense with a backdrop that I'm going to put on it, right? So I'm going to put another one here and another one back here that should take up most of my screen. But I don't want it to just be any old thing. Like, I collect Furbies, but I don't really want to take Furbies away from the main game room, right? Though, wouldn't a Furby screen be cool with Furbies in front of it and then, like, footage from that Mitchell's vs. Machines movie of just a giant Furby running around on the TV. I don't know, but either drop a comment below or be thinking about it for when I do bring home another shelf and TV set up. Some cool combination of toys and video that we could do for the other screen, but Cal, and that's almost it. I think there's two of these Steve's and I think, yeah, he's the same form factor. I'm just making sure there's so many different sizes. But that's the only plain Steve I have for that set, so that's good. And there are actually some tools in here. The carrot on the stick is actually for the pig. In Minecraft, when you ride the pig with a saddle, you have to lead it to where you're going with a carrot on a stick. In case you didn't know. And yeah, that's it besides a couple more blocks, which aren't quite as important, but there you go. I'm pretty happy. Pretty happy about that haul. Like I said, if you're out in the wild and uh, you see Minecraft toys, keep in mind some of them are going for a little bit these days because they're not always the easiest to get your hands on. So keep your eyeballs peeled and maybe you can flip some if you're in the reselling biz. Me, I'm going to keep them. I must keep them all on this shelf. Uh, but I did get one more big one, which is unlike any scale sitting here. Small. Yeah, he's the middle one. He's the second middle one. <laughs> I should just show you one of each real quick. Uh, so you see them all together. See how that's three different scales? Three different scale sizes. And then there's blocks for each of those sizes. And then, of course, the giant one. But there you go. One, two, three, four. There's five scales. I'm going to have a nightmare. <laughs> I need to just pick one and collect it. One, two, three, four. Big one, five. Five scaled Minecraft figures. And there's probably more. I just don't have them yet. Let's go talk about the rest of the stuff that we got at the thrift, though. I think we came home with some rather interesting things. <laughs> we don't really try to buy a lot of posters, but we seem to come home with plenty of them. I just really like this one. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, I, I love old school X-Men. So, I would like to buy up a bunch of these cheap poster frames and or just some of the bigger plastic protector hanger things four frames because we probably have 20 or 30 pretty good quality posters of this size that we've known for a long time we should be selling in our antique mall i just you want to sell them in a way where they're going to last if i put them right now they're in a five gallon bucket ro rolled up but if i put them in our antique mall to sell that way they're just not gonna they're not gonna survive after being unrolled a handful of times show us something you got i got a Tupperware. Um, this is an eight cup Tupperware. I have bought maybe five or six of them by now. They always sell very we, quickly. We talk about them a lot uh, as the ones our parents had and stuff. 
the exact one my grandmother had. This was the exact one my family had too. She could probably send me a picture of this exact one right now. I remember the like the almond shape markings on the side. I have no idea why, but I put my popcorn in it most. This is what we use it for the most. It's a big bowl. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, this was a bit of an impulse buy, but these goofy Minecraft books are pretty good. The thing that makes Minecraft the most interesting for me is that there's a couple different versions of it. It's honestly the thing that makes it more complicated, uh, a little less approachable, but there's a Minecraft bedrock that you play your switch on and your modern PC on, but there's also the old Java version. And what's really cool about the old Java version is that there's still a new version of it. They keep updating the old one and the new game. In this regard, it's almost unlike any other game. But what's always interesting when you find stuff like this is you kind of have to suss out exactly what era and what version of the old game that this is about. And it's actually a little bit helpful uh, accumulating some of this stuff because we play a lot of Minecraft. A ton. Just wait till the end of this video. There'll be a link to uh, our latest Minecraft video. And um, there's so much to it. There's so many recipes for doing things in the game, and it's all crazy. And a lot of it's Googleable. A lot of it can be Googled. Uh, but some really very particular stuff for different versions of the games can be found in this book. And that's what's really interesting about the game. If you download a map from an update from 10 years ago or from five, six years ago, you can actually change your game over to play the older version without the newer updates. So I can actually have some fun doing stuff out of this book from that version. If you're not into Minecraft, that's not gonna make a lot of sense, but if you're into Minecraft, you'll kind of know what I'm saying and kind of know that it's a, a neat little timestamp to have that if you're a hardcore Minecraft player like we are. Uh, what else did you get? I got not one, but two blue corn flower pie plates. Wow. So I, you can have your pecan pie and your pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving, right? I didn't see you find those. That's pretty good. They were a dollar. <laughs> Let's give them a close look. Are you going to put those in your antique mall? Yeah. Um, I've put them in my antique mall a couple of times now. Um, it's just a more uncommon piece, so it's definitely something that if you are collecting corning wear, it's nice to have. What, pray tell, is this? That is the Corel crazy daisy or green daisy pattern um serving platter and it's also an uncommon piece a lot of people have that plate set it comes in bowls and plates and you can get mugs and everything and then that's the serving tray so that you can put dinner rolls on the table too and make them fancy right cool hold on hold on oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. let me let's do this right We got this. You need a foam sword is what you need. Go. Does it hurt? <laughs> no. It works good. That's pretty cool. I don't know what this is or where it came from, but it's surprisingly nice. Uh, I'll probably end up putting it in my antique wall. We don't really collect any Zelda stuff. We have brought home a couple different Zelda related shields. A backpack, an actual plastic shield. That backpack was dope. This is pretty dope, too. It is. It is pretty cool. It would look good hanging around the wall, uh, but that was pretty cool. And then SSX Blur is really the only game that we got today. But it's better than nothing. And I've actually never played this one on the Wii. But I've played most of the other SSX games. I grew up playing those quite a bit. What's your favorite thing we brought home today? Mm, I'm going to go with my pie plates. I'm always happy to have those. I'm going to go with my bag of Minecraft stuff from Merchant, even though I... I didn't overpay for it. It was actually a really good deal. Those toys go for a lot on eBay. If I want to sell some of them individually, I can make my money back, but I'm going to collect most of them. A couple of them will be doubles for me, but I'm the most excited about that. You guys comment below and let us know what your favorite thing that we brought home today was. Pretty pleased. We'd love to know. Uh, it's probably going to, probably overwhelmingly going to be these plates because they're just such a nice, perfect pair. They're really cool. I don't oh. know what, what pair of pies would you like to have together? <laughs> I get to pick two? Two pies! What two pies? Pumpkin and cherry. Ooh, that's good. Um, comment below if your mother had this in your kitchen or your grandmother, because ours sure did. What else do we need to talk about before we get out of here? Merch that you've covered in uh, jean so, particles? This has become my go-to sewing shirt because it's just warm and fuzzy right. and comfy. But, uh, You're not tall enough. Eh. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> well, if you need yourself a new sewing shirt, uh, now below every single one of our videos, you don't even have to go to a website. It's right there. You just scroll down below this video. should be on most of your phones and your desktops. You can check out our new merch, and we're adding some new designs. And I don't like this all the time. That is the Trash Panda design. We've got a cool new He's shirt cute. coming next week. It is pretty good. I really like him. It's pretty. The, uh, the lime green color is it's growing on me it's been it was a bit of a shock when i first got it and i was just like i'm a highlighter but now i'm like dude i'm a highlighter i'm looking at a preview <laughs> screen and every time you wear it on camera you look like i glow you look like a glow stick at a rave <laughs> i glow in the dark <laughs> <laughs> almost literally well check out that merch guys and then pretty please hit the subscribe button to help us continue to 15,000 subs we'd love to have your help getting there uh we could taste it we can taste 15,000 subs. Uh, but other than that, you can click on this video in front of Hannah's face. Check out our latest Minecraft shenanigans like I mentioned earlier. The video below that is going to show you guys us playing some Super Smash. And of course, this button over here in this corner, you can click on that. And it'll help you get subscribed if you're not already. So until next time, guys, peace out.